gonna put a little oil in the pan, a little canolski, canola, and then you just fry these guys, and they're corn tortillas, so this thing's puffing up nice and well. Check out, check that out. So hit it with a little bit more oil. Flip it over. And at this point, you can just hit it with some salt. Just give it a little zipski. So I don't need this to get perfectly crispy because it's gonna cook a little bit more, but cooking both sides makes it a lot faster once you have everything ready to go. And you'll notice I'm using the finger method. Very hot, has to be very quick. Your hands get used to it, but you know, work at your own accord. Oh shit, dropped it, it's okay. The next step is to take your meat. In this case, I've got pork. And you know, about that much. Kinda eyeball it, you know, if you want a lot of meat, use a lot of fucking meat, I don't care. You really can't fuck up this kind of cooking. You heat stuff up, you throw stuff in, put stuff together, you make it melt, you know, you do whatever you gotta do. You know, a lot of times we'll make quesadillas and they put the cold meat right in, and then it never ends up getting really warm and it brings everything down. Fuck that. If you notice, I'm not in my standard kitchen. We decided to listen to all the comments. Everyone said, Brothers Green, get your own channel. Well, here it is. Thing is, though, our own channel means our own funds. We don't have the big camera crews. We don't have all the equipment, the sound guys. That's cool. We can do it on our own. It's just going to be a little different. Every episode is going to give you a little something different. Some might be a little more hands up, hands close. Some might be the two of us. Some might be one of us. God knows what else might happen. I love pulled pork. I don't Honestly, like I just have a big thing of it from the weekend. I've been putting it in everything. Pulled pork is great with eggs. It's great on quesadillas, Mexican pizzas, but it's good cold by itself. You can put it on some ice cream and put some maple syrup. It's probably delicious. Now it's all nice and hot. Right? So all I have to do at this point is take one of these guys, scoop it back into one side of the tortilla, I can't really ex express how much I like old pork. It is goddamn delicious. Pick it up, whatever you gotta do to get it in there. This is why it's cooking, but it's not cooking. Cool, so now, pop it down. Take some avocado. So now, final steps. If I can get this goddamn cheese open. I've got some cheese, I'm using mozzarella, but cheddar works well too, any, any cheese. Top it. Look at that. Just press it down. Now the important part really, if there was an important part, is getting this flip correct. And I'll just do it in my hand. When some stuff just kind of falls out, that's when you know you're good. Because you get that extra little treat. While this thing's cooking, you can eat it. Alright, now this thing is getting extra crispy. And if you notice, like some of the stuff on the front, you know, right here, that is just fried cheese, and I tell you, fried cheese is one of the most delicious things you will ever taste. Even like that is probably so good. It's burnt, <sighs> hot. But I'm gonna take this thing off now. You can see like the bottom is crispy as all mothers. Take whatever little bits are left, put that on top. It's spicy garlic mayo. Cilantro, glorious. If you want, it's nice to just kind of cut it. Jesus. Cut it in fours. You can just eat it straight up, it'll be glorious. I mean, it's gonna taste the same no matter how you cut it, but I mean, are you kidding me? Look at this thing. Let's see if I can do it in the camera. I'm used to having a crew. This is the best kind of cooking because there are no mistakes involved. Don't burn it. Even if you, I, honestly, I think I burnt mine a little bit. Fine. 